All right, in this video, I'll show you how to use the Facebook Ads Keyword Tool within Cache Keywords Pro. To access the Facebook Ads Tool, click on Traffic Tools and then on Facebook Ads. Even though Facebook is a social media site, this tool is designed to do keyword research for Facebook advertising, which will bring you more traffic to your website or fan page. And so that's why we placed it under here, under Traffic Tools. Now to get started with this tool, click Add Keywords. And for this example, I'll enter in some terms for gardening. I'll press OK. Next, I'll click on Options to choose the types of Facebook users I want to target. So I'll go ahead and choose adults 25 or older, marry people, and with a college education or higher. After specifying my target audience, I'll click Analyze, which will cause Cache Keywords Pro to, to get metrics for my keywords, along with more related keywords and keyword variations worth considering. So here you can see my terms gardening and gardener are estimated to get this many impressions here at this cost per click here based on the demographics I specified under Options. And for each term, I got back more keywords worth considering. So for gardening, there's some related terms here like bird watching, home decorating, sunbathing, the secret garden, and so on. And these are really related likes and interests suggested by Facebook itself for the term gardening. Under keyword variations, Facebook suggested these terms, these gardening keywords worth considering for this niche. And if I click on gardener, I'll see Facebook didn't suggest any related keywords and suggested these keywords here. Now what I can do is select both of these keywords up top which will combine all of their related terms and variations down below. And so that allows me to quickly scroll through this list and what I can do is hold down my control key and multi-select keywords that interest me. I'll go ahead and promote these keywords up top and I'll press analyze again to get metrics and more keyword ideas from them. And if I pull this down here, you can see the metrics for these other terms. And again, I can select everything and scroll down to even find more related ideas, both related keywords and keyword variations. Now one thing worth noting is that Facebook uses the concept of likes or interests instead of keywords, but since Cache Keywords Pro is a keyword driven tool, we refer to these as keywords here and here, even though you could think of them as likes or interests for your target audience. Now another powerful feature within this Facebook Ads tool is the ability to dig deeper for more keyword ideas. Let me show you what I mean. I'll select these top two terms and I'll go ahead and press get more keywords and this will cause Cache Keywords Pro to go deeper into Facebook to get a lot more keyword ideas to consider. And This will take a minute so I'll pause this video and come back once it's done. Okay so more keywords have been obtained and my number of variations now has jumped up and you can see the counts here have gone up too. So what I'll do is collapse this top table, expand the bottom table, and you can see all of the gardening related terms suggested by Facebook for these two keyword terms. And again, I can go ahead and select a variety of these. I'm just randomly selecting some. I can promote these and continue analyzing for more metrics and keywords. Now at any point, I can go ahead and export my data up top and I could even do some more keyword research for these terms by selecting some of them. I'll leave these selected here and pressing tools. Here you can see that I can look for Facebook fan pages or Facebook groups related to my keyword terms, which is a great way to become more social within your niche while discovering what new ideas and questions people have on their minds. I can also view the trends for these terms, which is very helpful for affiliate marketers 
who want to capitalize on seasonal trends within a particular niche. And I can even use the FAQs option here to find the common questions people are asking related to these terms, which is a great way to come up with new ideas for content. Now to make things easier, we've developed an action guide for this Facebook tool, which can be found by clicking on Guides, and then on Get More Traffic, and then here on Get Traffic from Facebook. Now here you can simply click through these steps, which will repeat what I've already shown you in this video. And this action guide will save you time by helping you discover many new opportunities within your niche for Facebook ads while guiding you through this overall process. So let me show you a quick example of how this works. First I'll press New to clear out my old keywords. And I'll go ahead and click through these steps. We already have the Facebook ads tool open so I could skip this one. Next I'll click on Add Keywords. And for this example I'll enter the term coffee. Now if I want to think of some more keyword ideas, I can click here, which will bring me to the Get More Keywords Action Guide, go through these steps, copy my results, and then go back and continue on. But to keep this video short, I'll skip that part for now. Next, I'll click on Choose Your Options, and for this example, I'll choose any type of relationship, and I'll choose this to be 18 or older, and we'll leave it at that. I'll click OK, and the next step will be to analyze these keywords, which is one in this case. I'll click here even though we already have the coffee term selected up here, and I'll select the relevant results down below. So here, drinking coffee I'll choose, good cup of coffee, I'll promote these terms. And here I'll choose coffee drinker, coffee maker, and coffee in the morning. So I'll promote these results too, and I'll repeat steps four to seven. So I'll go back to analyze these keywords. I'll select everything and then down below I'll get more relevant results worth considering. And I can keep repeating this process to grow my keyword list up top horizontally and vertically. And like in the past example I can go ahead and select any of my terms up top here. So I'll choose coffee and let's choose coffee maker and I'll click Get More Variations, which is the same as pressing Get More Keywords. And this will do a deep dig into Facebook to get a lot more terms related to these two. I'll pause this video and come back once it's complete. And so analysis is complete, and I can see now I have 175 keyword variations worth looking at for these two terms. And here you can see a variety of coffee terms straight out of Facebook that would be good to consider worth targeting if I wanted to advertise on a coffee related product or service. So ultimately what this will allow us to do is to develop a comprehensive keyword list for Facebook ads while helping us quickly to determine the best terms to use based on the number of impressions here and the cost per click estimates for each of these terms. Now one thing I should mention is that this is the first keyword tool we know of for Facebook advertising. As far as we know, there is no other tool like this being offered on the internet other than Facebook's own tool, which is a bit cumbersome to work with. So this will speed things up significantly and will help you to find a lot of new opportunities that is not easy to do with Facebook's web interface. So if you're already a Cash Keywords Pro subscriber, all you need to do is restart this application and you'll get the latest build from our server which includes this Facebook Ads tool. And if you're not a current customer, sign up today and see what this Facebook Ads tool can do for you, along with a variety of the other keyword tools we provide under these different menus here. And we're adding more each month, so there's still a lot more tools on the way. So along with the Facebook Ads keyword tool here, these other tools will give you a very diverse set of keyword research tools to work with to get the most out of your market research for a particular niche or industry. And so that's the end of this video, and so thank you for watching.